Hello and welcome back to another video on the Barrett channel. Uh, today I'm sat outside Starbucks. Um, I uh, stole my old man's new spot. I just sat in 26 degrees heat one week before Christmas. Sometimes I actually do forget it's near Christmas because it just doesn't seem like it at all. Uh, but thankfully to uh, everybody who clicked the link below and uh, supported us by buying us a coffee, that's where it's gone. So thank you ever so much for that. Uh, today we're actually going to be talking about, it's kind of, most of it's going to be a bit of a story that I encountered last week. Um, but it's essentially, it's about all of the cameras that are here in China actually bring much more benefit to the average citizen than a lot of people will think. So there's the obvious one when it comes to sort of security and criminals, right? But if you're not somebody who is, you know, a criminal, you're not really gonna see the benefit. Like, you know it's reducing crime in your area, you know the security is better, but when it comes down to yourself, you don't really see how it benefits you. I've actually had it benefit me on a personal level a couple of times with the same story that I'm going to tell you about, which is about somebody losing their phone. So last weekend, I actually took part in a football tournament. I'm actually going to roll a couple of B-roll clips of this football tournament. Um, quite spontaneous, down in the city centre of Shenzhen. Um, we ended up going out in the knockout stages quite badly. Um, but what happened was we were there is one of my friends um, actually lost his phone. He was warming up and uh, he dropped his phone. About a few minutes later, he realized that he'd lost his phone. So he just traced his steps and uh, it was nowhere to be seen. So obviously he was quite panicky because actually when you're in China, your phone's a big enough deal to lose your phone anywhere in the world. But when you're a foreigner in China, um, it's pretty much everything it's scary how much we depend on our phones like you need it to pay for things you need it for translation you need it for to, to see where you are you need it for you know you literally you can't really do anything without it and um, when you can't really ask people for help if you don't speak the language that becomes a bit of an issue um, and yeah not being able to pay for anything because most people don't even carry cash anyway back to the point so we lost this phone he was scouting around for it, nowhere to be seen, asking lost property, doing all the things that you would do sort of back home. We were actually on a private astroturf that the, uh, the, the football event hosts were hosting for, were, were sort of renting out for us. Anyway, we spotted a few cameras. Um, there were several cameras on the astroturf as well as several sort of around it outside. Um, so after a while, one of my friends recommended that he should go and ask the, the hosts if they could have a look at the cameras. Um, back home, first off, I've actually lost my... I've lo I can't remember what I lost, actually. Something happened to my car in a public area. And um, you, need all, you need to go through all sorts of different things to be able to get, some, so get someone to look at the CCTV footage. But this was literally straight away. He asked to watch some CCTV footage and they was like, yeah, come with me. They're watching it two months later. So they check on a few cameras and um, they they managed to track exactly where you know where he thought he dropped it and um, I'm going to roll some footage on the screen here I might do some narration over it because you know my, my memory isn't too good but anyway we, we managed to track down the, the guy who picked up the phone off the floor because you, you could see him running and then he, he looks back and he sees a phone he looks back he stops, picks something up off the floor. Yeah. Here, grey jumper, white shorts, black hair. Yeah, no, no number? No, no, he's just got a grey jumper on. You can ask. Hmm. And what team is on that pitch? White kit, Chinese. Like many, many times. He looks... Oh. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. <laughs> oh, I think I saw him. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, you can't see the phone. Yep. You can't actually see the phone on the on the video, but it's very obvious. He picks it up, looks around all sheepishly, and then carries on running. Um, I have been told, I have been told by a few Chinese people that the people who helped us 
and the people who always help you when you do lose something. Um, if you are a foreigner, you do get a little bit of extra help. But I'm not going to assume that that's the case. Um, maybe you can let me know down in the comments if, if any locals, if you've actually lost something, then let me know if you were treated in a similar way um, or, or it was very different. But anyway, the guys, that the, the event hosts were unbelievably helpful and, and it, was like, it was like a mission for like four to six hours, right? Because this guy had left but we knew they were coming back later to play another football game. So we got, we got you know, the, 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 what he looked like and all that. And um, it was just immense to see the, the lengths that they were going to help some person just find his phone. Um, because I know for a fact in the UK, they would not go that far. It, it goes like, yeah, you know, ask lost property. If it's not there, then sorry, mate. Like, it can't do anything about it. There's no way they would like look at CCTV and do all of this, you know, sort of stuff to help you just find your phone. Anyway, so they tracked down the guy and they were going to get the police involved. That's another thing that's very different. If you called the police in England and said, look, someone's, uh, someone picked up a phone off the floor and I've got CCTV footage of it, they would probably just, they would probably just laugh at you on the phone. They'd be like, why are you wasting my time? <laughs> like, but here, they wouldn't do that. They would, they would take it very seriously. Anyway, we didn't have to get the police involved uh, because we, we found out which guy it was and uh, the, the, the event hosts approached him um, along with my friend whose phone it was, approached him and sort of confronted him about it. And he, he said, look, um, yeah, here it is. He was very apologetic. Um, because they, they said, look, if you don't, if you say uh, you haven't got it or anything, we're going to get the police involved. So we just handed it over straight away. And basically, the, the moral of this story, the message of this story is that this is not something you think in the West, particularly when a lot of people are like, oh, my God, all the, all the population are just being watched all the time. Um, you know the government controlling all these cameras everywhere you've never got you've always got eyes on you but this is one of the things where it's really it helps you out big time and it makes you say thank you thank you for all the cameras that were there for me to be able to get my phone back because it can cause a hell of a lot of problems if you don't have your phone so I've actually had the same thing with me. I've lost my phone previously um, in a nightclub. And again, the, the hospitality and the, the, the security people go into great lengths to help me to get it back because they know they have evidence of, of where it is and, and what have you. So it also, it makes things a lot less likely to get stolen. Um, like my electric bike and, and everyone's electric bike, a lot of people won't even lock them up. Like, but... Because there's cameras everywhere, you can pretty be very safe knowing that it's not going to get stolen. Um, so yeah, it's just another. It's another negative. It's, the West give it a really negative spin, and in the media, it's all like, "Oh yeah, you know, they just want to control that population." But when it comes down to it, the reality is that they have nowhere near the amount of resources or even care in the world to think about what little Sally over here is talking about with her friend or not talking about but just 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 spy on anyone you know exactly what I mean they don't have the resources they don't even care the only reason they're there is to catch criminals and it does the job anyway I'm going to wrap this one up here um, I hope you took away something from this story and just hopefully it changed your perspective a little bit um, because it definitely did mine when I came here um, as always, if you do like our channel, uh, we are pumping out videos at the moment, so uh, hit that subscribe button as well. We are noticing that a lot of subscribers are still getting deleted, sadly enough, so make sure you are subscribed if you've done it before. As well as smash a thumbs up on this video as well, because it does really go great lengths for the channel. And uh, engage in the comments how you feel about there being so many cameras, and did you even think that this was... Did you even think about this sort of benefit that it could give you? And if you never want to miss an upload from us, then ring those bells. And I will see you in the next one. Until next time, catch you later.